what's up collective how you guys feeling how you guys doing i hope you all had a beautiful tuesday i hope you all are enjoying your night let's get a uh, love reading going okay collective i'm gonna do a love reading for you guys keep an open mind while listening to this message everything you hear may not necessarily be for you take only what resonates with you and leave the rest with somebody else out there all right, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back, everybody that's returning. And welcome if you are tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. You guys, thank you so much for the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes, donations. I greatly appreciate it all. <sighs> Let's get into your reading for tonight. Let's see what's in the energy. I'm going to pull from the love. The romance angels. I'm going to pull from that first. And then we're going to just go from there. Okay. What's up, collective? What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. <laughs> Oh, man. Something significant about California. I'm hearing it's always sunny in California. Wasn't that a show? I don't know. I, I feel like that's a show or a movie. I feel like that was definitely a show. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, Collective, but I feel like that was a show. Always sunny in California. That's what I just heard. So something significant about that movie or that show, I believe it was a show. Um, something significant about California. Maybe this person that is in y'all energy is from California. You could be from California. Somebody may currently live in California. Okay. But something significant about California. California love. Okay. Somebody here is from the West Side. Okay. Somebody here from the West Coast. Okay. Down in the West Coast. I'm here in West Coast by Lana Del Rey. So somebody here could definitely be from the West Coast. First card out, we got wedding. Okay. It says this situation involves marriage. Oh, shit. First card out is wedding. This situation involves marriage collective. What's going on with you guys? What you guys got going on? You deserve love collective. It says you deserve love. You are lovable wow okay and we got worth waiting for at the bottom of the deck divine timing is at work in your love life collective okay maybe you connected with somebody that lives on the west coast or they're from the west coast you could be from the west coast you may currently live in the west coast i'm telling you something significant about the west coast okay california love somebody here could be um dr dre or tupac fan or some shit like that i don't know uh, rest in peace to Tupac. Shout out to Tupac. All right. Keep an open mind, collective. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Keep an open mind, you guys. Spirit, is there anything else from this deck that we need for this message tonight for my collective? Okay. It says getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Collective, what is going on here? Some of you are um, definitely coming into alignment with a soulmate that you could be possibly marrying in this lifetime. It says the situation involves marriage. That was the first card out. Then you also have the reminder here that you are lovable. You deserve love, Collective. You are worth waiting for. Okay, this is worth the wait. This is longevity attached to this. This marriage attached to this. For those of you that actually want to get married, this is marriage attached to this. It says divine timing is at work in your love life, but you have to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So they may not be necessarily your type or what you would normally fall for. Okay, so keep an open mind, collective. But it says y'all are going to be getting to know each other. It says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is somebody that you're going to have a strong connection with. You're going to really get to know each other. You're going to get to know the ins and outs of one another. You're going to really get to learn each other and learn one another's personalities. And it's going to grow into love. And it's going to lead to marriage for many of you. I love this. I love everything about this. Okay. Because there's a lot of different cards in this. But for all of this to come out like this. 
this looks like it's about to be something good collective let's let's take a deeper look at this this looks like it's gonna be something good i'm hearing that song i can tell that we are gonna be friends <laughs> Somebody here may love the movie Juno, okay? Um, I love the movie Juno. Somebody may love the movie Juno. Somebody here could be an Ellen Page fan or um, what's the what's the other one? Michael Michael Sarah, right? That's his name, Michael Sarah. Somebody here could be a Michael Sarah or pa uh, Ellen Page fan. Somebody's favorite movie could be Juno or yeah, somebody could be watching Juno. Mm. I can tell that we are going to be friends. I'm also hearing that somebody here could have had a child at an early age. Maybe you or this person um, have children already or have a child already. Child as in singular, children as in plural. But either you or them or both of you could have children or a child already. But somebody here could have had a child at an early age possibly, you know. Because in the movie Juno, she had got pregnant in high school. So, I don't know. I'm something significant about the movie Juno. The soundtrack for Juno. Somebody here. Um, yeah, I'm hearing the music from Juno. I'm hearing that whole soundtrack. Uh, somebody here could be a Sonic Youth fan. Okay. I'm hearing that song. All the young dudes. Okay. I'm hearing all the young dudes. I can tell that we are going to be friends. Somebody here could be um, a Jack White fan. Somebody's last name could be White. Um, for some of you, this is an interracial relationship. Uh, somebody here could be European or something like that. And maybe you're of a different race. Um, somebody here's name could be Jack. Something significant about Jack, Skeleton, and Sally. Somebody's favorite movie could be... Um, one of the Tim Burton movies, possibly The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's so funny that I'm channeling that. That is one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, but somebody here may love Tim Burton movies. Uh, somebody here could be very petite or slim, slim built. Um, I'm also getting here that, yeah, someone loves... Um, Sonic Youth or Jack White. Somebody here could be a White Stripes fan, a Raccoon Terrace fan. We love Jack White. Jack White is awesome, super talented. Um, yeah, something about the dead weather, the dead weather, the White Stripes, and the Raccoon Tears. Somebody here could be a, a hardcore fan of Jack White. Um, and like I said, somebody's name could be Jack. Um, something about Jack. All right. Let's see what's going on, Collective. I feel like this could be an interracial relationship for some of you. Again, with, you know, this person is different. They're different from what you're used to. So maybe if you always dated within your race or something like that. Your soulmate is of a different race, different ethnicity, possibly. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles here in the upright. And keep an open mind collective, okay? It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expe expectations. Keep an open mind. But it could lead to marriage. We have the Four of Wands here. This uh, situation involves marriage. Four of Wands is here in the upright, you guys. That is wish fulfillment. That's marriage. Looks like somebody else may not be happy about this, okay? Looks like there's a third party on the outside that may not necessarily be happy about this. But the collective, whatever this is, this is something that a lot of you guys manifested. This person could have been trying to call you in, manifest someone like you, and same for you. You could have been manifesting this person, trying to call them in. Somebody here is showing up as the King of Pentacles, possibly a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or somebody here has strong earth placements, you or them. But let's see what's going on here for you guys. Spirit, give me uh, three more shuffles. Something significant about vacationing as well. Some of you may meet this person while you're traveling, while you're taking a trip, while you're on vacation. Okay. Oh, we have the lover's card here. I'm telling you, love is in the air. I, I feel it. Love is in the air. Yep. Love is in the air for you, Empress. 
Love is in the air for my divine feminines out there. My empresses. Empress, you the first card out. You are so lovable. You deserve love, Empress. Love is in the air for you, sugar. Shout out to all the empresses out there, my divine feminines. Okay? You could have made a decision to block somebody that was trying to reconcile with you. You could have felt like this was an injustice here. Okay? Like it was an injustice um, as far as the way they did you. Somebody here could have did you foul, empress. And you could have blocked this person. Or spirit is encouraging you to sever ties with this person and to not communicate with them if and when they try to come back around if they haven't already. For many of you, this is a karmic cycle here that you do not need to revisit. Okay? This person could have been juggling you. Okay? You could have found out that there was multiple parties here. This person could have been juggling you and now you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. So you're very smart, Empress. You know to set healthy boundaries you know not to give in to temptation if this person is tempting you know that this person's coming in as someone that's emotionally wanting to manipulate you yeah five of pentacles in reverse you know that this person wants to emotionally manipulate you and you're tired of this person i feel like whoever this is they're angry or they're gonna get angry this person could be throwing like some sort of temper tantrum or they could be and that could have been an injustice. Like this person could know that you've blocked them or you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to invest in them. You don't want to reconcile with them. And they could have, you know, fucking went ape shit. You know, this person, you know, this person went crazy. <laughs> you know, like they could have like really did some foul shit to you after realizing you blocked them or you just really don't want to deal with them and you setting some sort of boundaries when it comes to you interacting with them. This person could have really like started to show their ass once they realize like you really not coming back or you really don't want to invest in them you really setting boundaries you really stand in your ground this is somebody that acts out when they don't get their way but the towers here this is completely over so empress whoever you are baby you have completely severed ties with somebody from the past that was a karmic this person wanted you to um invest in them again but this is somebody that's unstable. This is something that would have been a faulty foundation. This wouldn't have been solid. This would have been a repeated karmic cycle for you guys. But this is somebody that's definitely trying to come back around or they have already tried to come back around and you rejected them. And they started to show their ass because you rejected them. Or this is what's going to happen. This person's going to try to come back around and then they're going to catch an attitude because you're setting boundaries and you don't want to deal with them. Somebody here could be a Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Okay, I got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus here, and Virgo. But whoever this is, they're mean anyway. That's why I said this person, it's like they, they know how to turn it on and turn it off. It's like a switch. It's like a light switch here with this person. Um, if they're getting their way, they're super sweet. I feel like this is somebody that's super sweet if they're getting a, if they're getting their way. But if they're not getting their way, this person turns into the king of swords in reverse. And I feel like that's exactly what has already happened or that's what's going to happen. But for many of you, spirit is saying that this is something that has already taken place. You could have found out how wrong this person did you behind the scenes or in your face. Like this person could have blatantly disrespected you or did some sort of injustice here to you something that was unjust something that was unfair unlawful and it was because they they couldn't get their way with you this is somebody that couldn't get their way with you now they in their feelings because you got something new coming in there go this king of pentacles again and y'all see me shuffle the cards again but the king of pentacles is here again okay and i feel like this is the person that you know it, it, you need to keep an open mind with this is the person that you're going to be getting to know this person could have already came into your life or they're about to. Take it as it resonates. But this is somebody that's going to bring happiness into your life. Empress, whoever you are, you're already happy. You know, you have to be in that nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy to even embody the empress energy. So there's no doubt in my mind that you're not someone that's independent. You're a very independent empress. You're very happy. You know, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. You're very, I don't know where that came from. The only thing I ate today was a salad, y'all. But... If whoever you are, Empress, you're somebody that is very independent um, emotionally. So it's like you're very fulfilled on your own with or without a partner. You're good, you know. So I just feel like whoever this is, 
you know, this person is just adding on to that emotional fulfillment that you already have within self. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's how you attract a true divine counterpart and have an equal give and take healthy love. Something that's not codependent, something that's not karmic. You know, it's like this is how you attract a unconditional love with longevity attached to it by healing working on yourself knowing who you are and actually being able to provide what it is that you desire from another person like a lot of people are out here unhealed looking for the perfect person and then they get upset but it's like motherfucker what you asking for and somebody else you can't even prov you can't even provide that for yourself and you damn sure can't provide it for somebody else if you can't provide it for yourself but you walking around bitter feeling like you keep meeting losers but you just meeting people that are mirroring you you attract what you deserve. You attract who you are. Don't don't get it fucked up. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? So it's like collective, whoever you are in this Empress energy, you've already experienced that. You've already went through those karmic cycles and you sat down and worked on yourself. You've healed. And now you've elevated to a level of complete self-love, knowing your worth. And now spirit is helping you attract someone that you're actually going to have a long-term partnership with something that's going to be healthy and balanced you know so very beautiful collective you understood the assignment okay there's too many unhealed people out here putting their emotional um fulfillment on others it's like making others responsible for your emotional fulfillment no you're supposed to be making yourself happy first you're supposed to be falling in love with yourself first now you upset because you can't find the perfect partner because you keep meeting people that are unhealed and empty as well. Y'all both got empty cups. Collective, your cup runneth over. You being in this Empress energy, your cup runneth over. Spirit is going to align you with somebody whose cup runneth over as well. Two healed people coming together is a long-lasting partnership. And for whatever reason, if it don't work out, it'll still be a healthy separation. It's only when you unhealed and you attracting other unhealed people that shit get chaotic for real. And people are holding grudges and upset and, and mad because this person can't make them happy. It's just something that they not doing right. People that find an issue with every lover that they encounter, that's because they're looking to fill a void that only them themselves can fill. But they too scared to go deep and do the work or they too fucking lazy. They just don't want to do it, you know? But a collective, whoever you are, you're very patient. And I feel like this is why this person is mad. It's like this person is mad because you know that the right person is worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life worth waiting for. Temperance speaks of patience. Collective, whoever you are, you're patient when it comes to this real love that you know you deserve. This true love, this honest love, this unconditional love, this healthy love, this nurturing love, right? You know that it takes time. Great things take time. You know spirit is working on it for you, right? It took time for you to fall in love with yourself, for you to truly fall in love with yourself. That took time as well. So you know that it's taking time for spirit to align you with the perfect person for you. Nobody's perfect, but it's going to feel perfect for you. You get it? You get me? So temperance speaks of that patience worth waiting for. Collective, you're not jumping the gun. Anybody that's just coming towards you, you're not going to jump the gun and just invest in someone just because. Yeah, an emperor in reverse, king of cups reverse. This person is mad. This person is mad as hell. Whoever this emperor in reverse is, this king of cups in a reverse from your past that wanted to come back around, eight of cups reverse, five of pentacles reverse. This is somebody that wanted to come back around and they was hoping that you was unhealed. This person could have been with you when you were unhealed. The version that they know you as no longer exists. When you was dealing with this emperor in reverse, king of cups reverse, you may have not been in your empress energy. Hell, this person could have even been the catalyst to you becoming an empress after you severed ties with them, right? But this is a karmic distorted masculine from the past here that was hoping that you were still unhealed. But like I said, that version of you that they know no longer exists they don't even know who you are anymore empress okay you are not the same and and that's a great thing okay this is true growth true ascension true elevation you have transcended now whoever this is this emperor reverse this king of cups reverse 
this is the you know this person is is acting out king of swords reverse king of cups reverse the emperor reverse the hierophant reverse this is somebody that could be emotionally unstable like i said they definitely act out when they don't get their way this is somebody that could be cold and callous at times they may even use the silent treatment as a form of punishment this is somebody that could just be a real jackass when they don't get their way or when they feel some type of way this is somebody that's very hard to please because again they're looking for someone to fulfill them in ways that they can't even truly fulfill themselves. They're looking for somebody to do things for them that they can't do for themselves and they damn sure can't do it for the other person. This is somebody that's going to take, 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 take and never be satisfied and you're going to be left feeling depleted. You're not repeating that karmic cycle. Absolutely not. So this person is upset because you're patient. You're patient. You're not jumping the gun. Anybody that's unhealed that's coming towards you, you're going to be able to observe that shit. You're going to point it out and you're going to know, nah, this ain't, no, this ain't what I want. I ain't trying to invest in this. Y'all going to know right away that, you know, it's a repeated karmic cycle. Because for many of you, you're about to get tested. It could be with this same exact person, which is a hell fucking no. And it could also be spirit could send somebody else your way just to test you to see if you have really learned your lesson. But Empress, you have. Somebody here is mad because you won't jump the gun and be with somebody here that's unhealed. You're not codependent. You're not lonely. You're you're like you're good. You know that real love is worth waiting for. You cool. You don't mind waiting. Like, and really, it's like it's not even waiting. You just out here loving yourself and living your best life. And it's like, yo, when the time is right, it'll come. Like it says, divine timing is at work in your love life. Empress, whoever you are, you trust in divine timing. You trust in the universe. You trust in source and spirit. You trust in God. You trust that it'll happen when it's supposed to. Everything that's meant for me is going to come to me at the perfect timing. What's for me won't pass me by. A lot of y'all could live by that. And, and listen, you're doing a damn good job living by that. You have infinite abundance coming in with a true divine counterpart. You are showing up as someone that's very loving, Queen of Cups. You're showing up as an earth angel, Empress, Temperance, Queen of Cups. This is somebody that's an earth angel. This is somebody that's angelic, that has a beautiful aura, beautiful presence, very um, loving, very nurturing, very giving, very compassionate, very generous. Whoever this is, they know this about you. Even when you was unhealed, you had that generous spirit. And this person could have just used you up. You know, you was their best supply. It, you're not doing that anymore. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You got a brand new passionate beginning here. Ace of Wands. And it's going to include somebody that is different from what you usually choose, what you usually pick. I mean, pretty much your, your choice is... You know, they were some bullshit in the past. Let's keep it real. So spirits say keep an open mind because who's your true counterpart may be very different than, you know, what you would normally go for. That's for some of you. Yeah, whoever this is that y'all end up investing in, this is somebody that's patient as well. Very patient. Yeah, that's the truth. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. Whoever you guys are going to invest in, this new person... This is somebody that's going to be very patient, just like you, very understanding. They're not going to rush you. They're not pressed to be in a relationship either. Why? Because they're, they've are they healed, just like you. So this person is not going to be pressed to be in a relationship. There's not going to be any pressure. You're not pressuring them. But it's going to be beautiful. There go that four wands. It came back out. It's going to be beautiful. Collective, whoever you are, you're getting married. I'm telling you, if you guys are ready to be a husband or a wife, this is what you're attracting. This is what you're manifesting. This is what spirit is bringing to you. This is what you're in full alignment with. You're in full alignment with uh, true love, true, compassionate, unconditional, nurturing love. Yeah, God is calling judgment in this situation. It's time. For many of you, it's time. You may even be saying like, listen, I could be single for a little bit longer. I don't even mind being single for a few more years. Like some of y'all really have that attitude and that's that self-love. You chilling. But God said, no, it's time. With the judgment here, it's something about it being time. Something about it being time now. Like you're ready. You're ready now. Spirit said you're ready now. You're ready now. You're ready for the real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. <laughs> and whoever this is from the past, this person is very secretive. 
okay? Somebody here may even have some secret addictions, okay? But this person is not somebody that you will have equal give and take with. That's what I just explained. Somebody that's going to take, 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 take. You're their best supply, and they're going to leave you feeling empty and depleted. No, you're not, you're not with that two of cups in reverse bullshit. And this is somebody that's bitter. They're mad because you don't want to repeat that cycle with them. You don't want to repeat a cycle here where you're just giving, giving, giving and being depleted. Why not? Why you? Why I can't take from you no more? This person is watching y'all. Whoever this is, they're watching you collective. This person is watching you and they're going to watch you build this life with somebody else for many of you. Because you're getting an offer. You're getting an offer. You will be building with somebody here. Getting to know somebody here. You deserve this love. And whoever this is that wants to come back so bad, they're going to be mad. They're going to be mad. They're going to be really mad. But spirit is protecting you from this past person. Spirit knows you want absolutely nothing to do with this person. And you're being protected from this person. This person cannot come back towards you. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with this person. For some of you, this person even has somebody. They could even be in a relationship right now, a codependent situation right now. But there's a third party here. And this person got the nerve to be sweating you and behind the scenes stalking you, trying to see who your new person is, who you could be getting married to. They need to just really move on and mind their damn business. The offer that's coming in don't is none of their concern. It don't got shit to do with them. This person is growing obsessed with y'all. This person is obsessed with y'all. Y'all got a past person that's obsessed with y'all. And this person is unhappy. So this third party situation here, this person is unhappy, which is why they all in your goddamn business. They see that you've healed. And whoever this third party that they are involved with, they may know that this person has been stalking you and trying to see what you got going on. So she knows that this man is not over you. She knows that this man is still stuck on you and she's mad. But she's showing up as the queen of pentacles reverse. Somebody here could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Somebody here could be a Gemini, a Pisces, a Virgo. Yeah, I said Virgo. I got strong Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn energy here, Gemini, Aquarius. But I mean, this situation is depressing. And it's nothing but codependency. Like I said, nine of pentacles in reverse. Nine of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's a fraud too. Like somebody here got into a connection thinking, somebody here probably got into a connection thinking it was going to be happy and they was going to be with someone that was healed. And then they realize that this ain't nothing but a karmic cycle. And it's because both parties involved need to do some healing. That's what happened here. But collective, you moving forward and you attracting a new counterpart here. Definitely. Definitely, 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 definitely. 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 Okay? And it's going to lead to marriage because the four wands kept coming out. Yeah, we got the world card here. That cycle closed out with this past person. That's all in y'all business, trying to see who you marrying, who you dating, who you sleeping with, who you intimate with. Like, yo, move around, bro. Mind your business. Somebody here really needs to mind their business. Yeah, the tower. We got the world card, and now we got the tower. Spirit said that shit is over. You hear me? The world card and the tower. Like, that shit is over. This is somebody that y'all don't trust. This is somebody that you don't want to invest in. And it's, come on. It's just a bunch of foolishness. It's a bunch of fuckery with that past person. Y'all like, listen, I, I'll be patient. Temperance to the three of wands. I'll be patient and wait for the real thing. If it's not the real thing, I don't want it. I will remain single. If it's not the real thing, I don't want it. I will remain single. I am not desperate and I am not about to repeat any karmic cycles. Yeah, whoever this is, their goal is to be with somebody that's going to take care of them. So this is somebody that could be seeking a connection with someone for financial reasons. The King of Pentacles in the reverse is a user. And that's somebody that gets with women to take from them financially as well. So this is somebody that's in it, that's going to be energetically draining, okay? But that's somebody that's also financially draining too like this is somebody that wants somebody to take care of them okay and then they got the nerve to be woke they got the nerve to be cheating like this is a, <laughs> listen this is somebody that's a user all around the board they want a woman that they can lay up with okay possibly you know live with okay this person could need a place to stay but this is somebody that want to lounge and live off for you and then on top of that, they, they stepping out on you and they cheating on you. So not only is this person not contributing 
and they take and take and take and take and take from you energetically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. And then on top of that, they're cheating. Who the fuck is signing up for this? <laughs> like collective, y'all said, hell no. Nah. Yeah, four of wands in the reverse. Hell no. Nah. That's not your wish fulfillment. You ain't do all this healing to be used and abused. <laughs> Collective, you gotta laugh at this shit. You ain't do all this healing to be used and abused. No, you did this healing to connect with somebody that's a hierophant, somebody that's a leader. Whoever this person is that's gonna come into your life, if they haven't already, this person could be a Taurus, okay? Or they could have strong Taurus placements. This person could also be an Aquarius, or they could have strong Aquarius placements. They could be a Virgo or a Capricorn, or they could have strong Virgo or Capricorn placements. Some of you are going to be connecting with an Earth sign or an Aquarius, or somebody with strong Earth or Aquarius in their chart for some of you, okay? Somebody here could have a Scorpio, Venus, you or them, but this is going to be a time of celebration. Three of Cups. You guys are going to be celebrating and having a good time with this person. Ten of Pentacles. There's infinite abundance attached to this connection. This is somebody that could be very financially stable. Collective, you may also be financially stable, which is why this user here wants to come back in the first place. But no, you're pairing up with somebody that got their own shit. They're a businessman. I'm hearing whoever this man is, he's a businessman. Uh, he could be wealthy. Spirit said he's wealthy. This is somebody that already got wealth. They not coming in to be with you because they feel like you a cash cow or you gonna make them a lot of money or you got a lot of money. No, this is somebody here that's already, they already got it. If anything, this man is making sure that he's not getting with a woman that only wants to use him for finances. He got his own shit. He got a lot of it. Whoever this man is, he's wealthy. Spirit say he's wealthy. This man got the Ten of Pentacles. There you are showing up as the Queen of Swords. Yet again, you stand in your ground. You're very intelligent. You know who to invest in and who not to. And so does this man. You showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. You see that collective? This is going to be somebody that is your equal. This is somebody that's going to treat you as an equal. And this is somebody that you won't feel depleted by in any way. This is somebody that has more than enough. They have more than enough self-love. They have more than, a love, more than enough love to give. Your cup will continue to run if over. Both of you will be filling each other's cup. And it'll be an equal give and take partnership, a two of cups. They showed up as the king of pentacles in this deck. And you showing up as the queen of pentacles in this deck. You two will be matching one another. Very stable, very responsible, very mature. No nonsense, okay? Like It's like you guys are going to be playful with each other, having a good time. But this person is no nonsense and so are you. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. They're no nonsense and so are you. For some of you, you could be traveling with this person, okay? So some of you could be relocating to be with this person or this person could be relocating to be with you or you two may be world travelers. This man may like to travel a lot or you like to travel a lot, but there's something here about you guys traveling. Somebody here's North Node could be in Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, this man is very creative. Somebody here may even travel for work, okay? But this is this is going to be a beautiful time here. And here go this Emperor in the reverse again. This person keep coming out. They're so mad because you know not to invest in them, Empress. You see the difference? This person keeps showing up as the Emperor reverse. This past person, they showed up as the Emperor in the reverse in this deck, right? And now they're showing up as the Emperor in the reverse in this deck. This, this past person is mad, Empress. They're mad at you, Empress, in the upright. They're mad at you because you know not to fuck with them. You see how the same cards is coming out? The energy remains the same collective. You keep showing up as the Empress in the upright. Okay? The first card out in the first deck was the Empress. Right? And now we have the Empress here again in the upright. Right? And the Emperor in the reverse came out in both decks too. Like this past person and you are not equally yoked. That's why you would be depleted dealing with this person. This is someone that's unhealed. They're unhealed. And this person is waiting to see who you're going to be with. You know, it's like they really keep minding your business. But like I said, this is worth the wait and divine timing is at play. Will of Fortune also speaks of fate, something that's faded, destined to happen, something that is in full alignment for you, worth waiting for. Temperance energy, patience, will of fortune, fate, 
fate playing out, something that's a part of your destiny, something that's destined to happen, something that you manifested, something that this person manifested, and it's coming in at the right time, at the perfect time. And it's beautiful. This is beautiful. You're so ready for this. Yeah. Somebody here could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. Somebody here could have strong Virgo in their chart. I'm getting Libra, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you could be a Libra. You could be a Taurus. You could be a Virgo for some of you. You could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you. You are the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. And this person is upset. They're disappointed. Oh, well, let them stay mad. Shit, they keep coming out on the reading. Who cares, man? <laughs> like, Empress, I know you don't care. Shit, I know you don't. Yeah, this person could have been sending you the evil eye. But this person is wearing a mask. It's like this person been wishing you ill behind the scenes. But now they want to see if they could finesse you into um, investing in them. No, it's a no. You know that this person is a fraud. Okay, again, with that nine of pentacles and reverse energy. Codependent, but also pretending to be somebody that they not. This is somebody that wants to come towards you and give you some half-ass offer and, and pretend that they're healed when, when they're really not. You know that they're not healed. You you ready for the real thing here. Yeah, you ready for the real thing. Yeah, again, judgment is being called in this situation. So the real thing is coming in. The real thing is coming in. And whoever this uh, devil is, whoever this possessive person is, you get to move forward, you know, freely. Eight of cups to the chariot. Moving forward, walking away, not looking back. The world card. It's over. It's completely over. Like, this person's just going to have to deal with it, okay? They ain't got no choice but to deal with it. Ain't nothing else to do about it. Ain't nothing else to talk about, all right? So, congratulations on your future marriage, Miss Empress, okay? I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I enjoyed giving it. And um, I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Peace.